Hi, welcome to the torture chamber. This chamber allows us to expose humans to different environmental conditions and try and understand how the human physiology adapts and responds when we expose someone to heat stress, cold stress, uh, changes in humidity, and even changes in altitude. Uh, we have the capacity to control temperature all the way from below freezing to up to about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. And at the same time, we can control humidity so that it could be as low as 20% relative humidity or, or as high as 95% relative humidity. Uh, we've had the chamber operating at altitudes as high as 18,000 feet. And currently, we're using it to help athletes prepare for the Beijing Olympics by pre-acclimating them to the warm, humid environment that they'll face when they compete in Beijing. Today, we have an athlete running in 77 degrees and 80% humidity to simulate the conditions that are forecast for the Beijing Olympic Marathon. Oh, here we go again. These sessions will help his body acclimate to the Beijing climate so that he can focus on the race and not the weather. In my lab, we're trying to connect the dots between the physiology and what we see in elite athletes when they're performing and what happens in the rest of us when we go out and exercise for personal fitness, for our health, or if we're exercising to recover from injury or illness. We're trying to translate the science that we do in the lab to change the way we approach exercise so that we have better prescriptions of how we should go about exercising to maintain a healthy life, no matter what level of performance we're trying to achieve.